What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again. We yet again another banger. You guessed it. Today, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. Mamba is completely filthy, completely filthy. Like it's bad, bro. Houston has been raining on and off. We're legit in the middle of hurricane season, so Houston doesn't know if they want to actually go ahead and have the hurricane or if they don't want to have the hurricane. So what it's doing is it's sprinkling for like five to eight minutes a day every other hour and then it dries up on the car. So the reason why I decided this is the best time to make this video is because since it continues to just sprinkle at random times of the day, why would I go wash the car, completely wash it, when I could just go ahead, do this video for y'all, and show y'all, you know, and finally put this product to the test and see if it actually truly works. As you guys can see, like, look at that. Like, look at that. I've never, ever had Mamba this dirty. Like, I don't know how well it's coming up on camera. But like just water spots for days. The wheels aren't even like glossy no more. I don't want to do the finger wipe thing, but like look at the quarter panel. Like just it's not, you know what I mean? It's not up to par. So what we're gonna be using today is if you guys haven't seen my trunk setup, I'll go ahead and put up a card for that video. Make sure you guys go check it out. Got some uh goodies that I went ahead and revealed in that video. Still more stuff to come on the trunk setup. It's still a work in progress. But if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. Anyway, the t product that we will be putting to test today is gonna be the Chemical Guys Speed Wipe. All right, so this is spray, gloss, and quick detailer. So today we're gonna be putting it to the test. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my cloths here. Just need one. And we're gonna legit i know you guys have seen like the detailer videos where you know they do like the ceramic coat or the paint correction the paint correction for sure so when they do the paint correction they legit do like one half of the car um and show you the side that is coated or paint corrected and the side that's not paint corrected so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be cleaning well wiping down the passenger side of the car um and i'm gonna leave the driver's side as is and then we'll do a walk around of the car again and show you guys the difference and show you guys what the product actually did if you know what i mean if you should get it if it's worth the money because like just look at how dirty this joint is bro oh my goodness it's so bad it's so especially right here i really want mud flaps bro like, I'm, as as weird as that may sound, as dumb as that may sound, I really want mud flaps, and this is why. My ride height is pretty low, as you guys know. It's pretty conservative in the rear, but in the front, it's pretty low. So, whenever I hit water, or whatever the case may be, I get this effect. Even, like, right after I wash my car and I put armor all on the tires, while driving, that armor all goes straight in this area. So if I had mud flaps right there and in the rear, I wouldn't really have that much dirt. Like, look at the rear bumper, for example. Like, bro, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I, I really, I really want to get some, but the reason why I haven't gotten any is because I don't want any that are like too big you know what i mean i want some that are like like legit it'll be flush so it'll probably just cover up the tilt from the camber so legit like to like right there would be perfectly fine nothing too crazy that sticks out too far because then it's just gonna be ugly so without further ado let's go ahead and roll that intro and then get straight into this video i'm gonna do panel by panel so i'm gonna start off with the hood then i'm gonna go to the front bumper then i'm gonna go to the fender the door quarter panel rear bumper trunk and then we'll do the walk around so let's go ahead and get it What is 
What's good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? All right. So, we're going to go ahead and start off. You guys can't see me, but you can see the car, and that's really all that matters. I'm going to go ahead and start off. There's multiple ways to do this. You could just spray directly onto the part that you want to clean or you can spray it onto your cloth and then wipe um just make sure you're not going in a circular motion because you're legit just rubbing that dirt into the paint you're going to want to go from side to side in one direction that way you don't have that many scratches now me i'm probably just going to go ahead and cake this on here just because of how dirty the car is get like a test where it's going just cake it on there and the thing that i love about chemical guys bro oh the smell it smells so good you know what i mean so i'm gonna go ahead and just damn <laughs> yo one wipe and that already made a huge dip gosh Chemical guys, man, sponsor me, you know? What are y'all waiting for, you know what I mean? Just gonna do it like that, like that. Damn. All right, now that we got the hood done, I'm gonna drop down to this half of the front bumper and knock it out. Dude, the hood came out amazing. Luckily for us, the Camaro has so many body lines, so like distinct like body lines. I don't even need to like put tape or anything. I can legit just go off with a body line that runs right down the middle of the car. actually my first time using this product this is a chicken beef production why you don't want to go in a circle of motion like I just did kind of mess that up there so what you want to do is just take it and go in one direction with it you know Like, bro, damn. <laughs> and go to the door.
now coming in hot. Gonna go ahead and knock out that booty. Especially like this right here. I have to say this part of the rear bumper gets the filthiest for me. We're on the piece, the piece de resistance, as my boy TJ would say. Now we're gonna knock out the rear end real quick, and then I'll give you guys the walk around. I'm gonna do half of the trunk. So from this rivet, that on that way, all the way down. even just because it's on camera <laughs> it's dancing <laughs> it doesn't even look like it rained so get it up close nothing nothing you know what I mean nothing fender nothing <laughs> front bumper we're solid G we're solid look at that Look at that, man. We're solid. Let's go to the door. Door's definitely clean. Sheesh. With the quarter panels. Y'all remember all that grime and dirt that was on there? And then especially the rear bumper. Especially this part right here. This was the worst part. All cleaned up. And then from the eyes, the rear end, super clean. Definitely got to get in there with the towel, but super clean. So, to wrap up this video, man, I'm going to go ahead and give Chemical Guys another one of J.I. stamp of approvals. This product right here, their new quick de speed detailer, definitely a must. Definitely should have in your detail bag, in your show bag, on the go bag, or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? Definitely should have some of that product for your car if you're a car guy, because it legit worked. You know what I mean? It got out a good amount of the dirt. I'm pretty sure if I would have used it on the wheels, it would have cleaned the wheels too. But like I said, if you're caking it on there like I did, that bottle was just for video purposes. It was literally my first time ever using it. Decided to make a test video for you guys and use my car as a test dummy for you guys and show you guys like, hey, it was like, I want to say 12 bucks at Walmart. It is a little pricey, I'll be honest, but definitely worth it because at the end, your car looks pristine. 
looks like it never rained and your show car ready man so i'm gonna go ahead and give chemical guys the ji stamp of approval man without further ado that's gonna be it for this video if you're new to this channel make sure you smash that subscribe button make sure you turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what company you guys use for your waterless wash and yeah man i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace